lowers their trading costs. Number two, it allows them to execute positions more rapidly and um, delaying uh, execution of positions is costly as well. First and foremost, to change their exposures, they can get in, in and out of markets at a reasonably low cost, uh, but also to be certain that prices reflect available information and liquidity allows that price discovery to, to be affected uh, very efficiently. Investors really have to worry about transactions cost and whether they move the price when they trade. And so they really have to work very hard on limiting their transactions cost and limiting liquidity risk in the sense of limiting the risk that they can sell when they really need to. The liquidity is particularly important, I think, for institutions that have any kind of leverage. That uh, institutions that have leverage where um, are subject to liquidity shocks, then uh, this can lead to, uh, to fire sales and uh, pressure on prices, as we saw, for example, in, in the LTCM crisis. And these are quite systemic issues. They can affect many institutions at the same time. Um, and um, as we saw in the recent crisis, it can be extremely, extremely serious. I think first and foremost, we're fiduciaries. We think about the long-term interests of our clients. And so when we're thinking about the challenges they face in liquidity, we, we need to think about how we organize our business, but also how we're constructive with regulators about some of the changes that they're proposing.